Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. And this is one of my multi-card videos. And this one uses the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set along with the Picture Perfect Party Designer Series Paper, some various other items that we have in the catalog. The stamp set is kind of a builder stamp set, which is kind of fun. So you get these three uh, longer images that can be used to form birthday candles or party blowers with these two little end pieces. We also have the two-step bow, which I do want to show you how to use that because a lot of people are struggling getting those lined up. Some fun sentiments uh, kind of cap it off and it just made, it's a really good birthday set. The Picture Perfect Pattern Designer Series Paper is a set of 48 six by six sheets and I'm getting kind of low so I don't have all the sheets but I just want to kind of show you. Uh, the one side of these patterns is all actual like photographs of birthday themed items like party hats, party blowers, balloons, just some random punched circles out of our cardstock, some confetti, birthday candles, cookies with sprinkles, yum, birthday presents, uh, some kind of birthday confetti-ish paper, and then donuts. And like I said, I'm almost out of a couple of those patterns, so I'm kind of sad about that. All right, up next, we're going to work with the bow um, images and I'm going to show you how to get a nice um, image for those. So there's two images. There's kind of the detailed um, inner image and then there's the main bow image and I want to show you how to line these up. So I've stamped the inner image here in Berry Burst and then I stamped the bow in Flirty Flamingo. Here I've stamped them together and then here I have again just the inside piece and I'm going to kind of show you how I line this up. If you'll notice, the inside piece, the two center image, the two center parts of the image, there's a thick one and a thin one. Okay. Well, on the stamp, I think the camera's picking this up. I'll turn it. You can see that there is like a thick inner hole and a thin inner hole. Those are the two points that I'm going to use to line this up. So I have my thick image here and my thin image here. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my stamp in my Flirty Flamingo, and you can see that the thick point is here, so I've got the thick side on my stamp, and I'm just going to come straight down over the top, kind of hovering a little bit while I line it up, and I'm looking to see the dark images come into the center of my stamp, and I can see some of them, and then I just press it down and look at that. Voila! Perfect. Isn't that amazing? So that's how you can use those two stamps. Those are a lot of fun and you can make a lot of different colored bows. Here's a little sample piece with the candle images. So here's all three of them stamped. I cut them out and popped them up and then I just added the flames. The party blower. The party blower is easy to create also. So the long image here I stamped off once in Lemon Lime Twist, stamped it on my piece of cardstock, and then I overstamped it with the striped image without stamping off. Then I brought in this little end piece here, just lined it up right to the end of my long piece. And then this piece here just butts right in. You can see how the end of this looks like it's kind of torn off. So it just fits right into those little detailed areas perfectly. All right, let's get started with the cards. I have 31 cards for you guys today. All right, we're gonna start with this one here where we just got some random birthday candles and the happy birthday image is also used as a candle, which I thought was really cute. And this does use a few of our um, ribbons and trims. This is the mini tinsel trim, uh, the love mini tinsel trim in the um, occasions catalog. You get the gold and the uh, sweet sugar plum. And then we've got some of this mini chevron also just kind of tied up there in the corner. I thought that was kind of fun. Bring in our next one. We can see we've got the party blower um, design just like I showed you. We've got some of our glimmer dots. They come in, well, those are almost gone. The four colors, Dapper Denim, Crushed Curry, Berry Burst, and Old Olive. And they're in ombre um, patterns, so that's kind of fun. So there's a few of those on this card. And then a strip of our um, Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper. And if you guys haven't seen that, it's amazing. You get three different colors, Bermuda Bay, Lemon Lime Twist, and then the dazzling kind of white with the green sheen to it. And you don't need a whole lot of glimmer paper to make a statement, as you can tell with this card where there's just a tiny little strip on the edge. So glimmer paper can go a long way. A few of our oval framelits here to kind of uh, pop that image up. Moving on, we've got some of our square framelits. Here's our simple stripes um, embossing folder in the background here. A few rhinestones, some silver glimmer paper. Again, you don't need a whole lot of glimmer paper just to make a statement. And then a tiny strip of the designer series paper. 
Here's a Z-fold card that uses some of the Designer Series paper, the balloon pattern here, a trimmed out party blower, the sentiments overstamped with a bunch of the confetti pieces here. And then I do have a strip of our, this is washi tape here. And we have a few collections of washi tape. I kind of want to bring those in because they're a lot of fun. We've got the basics packs one, two, and three. So there's a greens, kind of a pinky purples, and then the blues. And each of these collections has this fun pattern of washi tape. Isn't that fun? And I went ahead and I like to make backgrounds with my washi tape. So you can see on this piece here, I just layered the different pieces um, randomly just to create a fun pattern. So washi tape is amazing and it can be used for a lot of things. And we have a great number of collections. We've got these three and then we've got black. So this is just your standard Z fold card, four and a quarter by 11, scored at two and three quarters and then folded and then some layers. Moving on to this one, some more of those candles popped up, which is a lot of fun. One of the sentiments, just a strip of the designer series paper, and then uh, some of our yummy, yummy berry burst metallic edge ribbon. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. So the strip was just wrapped around and adhered to the back, and then a little bow tied and adhered with a mini glue dot. And then, of course, layering circles framelits. This one, the entire background is some of this fun designer series paper, a few different banners. Uh, one of our adhesive backed sequins, bring those in. Those come in a few different colors. The lemon lime twist, a yellow, soft sky, some orange, um, and the berry burst. Those are a lot of fun. And they have adhesive on them so they're really easy just to peel and stick, no problem. A little strip of the ribbon kind of bannered off just like the edges and I don't think this one, nope, nothing in the center. This one brings in some black which I thought was really cool and I love how this happy birthday was actually stamped in one of the candles. That just kind of adds some interest to the card which I think is really neat. And then just a tiny strip of the designer series paper there on the edge. Here's another one, very simple. We just use our polka dot folder here in the background. Two layers of cardstock and you notice that the designer series paper is underneath the main layer but then on top of the black layer here. And I just love all the layering with the green uh, lemon lime twist and the black. This is a fun one. This Using the designer series paper all by itself is just amazing. It's just a piece of the paper, a tiny, uh, very small edge of black showing around the back there. Some of the stitched shapes framelits, the circles framelits, which you've got to get if you don't have. And some of this fun mini sequin trim that we have kind of looped back and forth. And we do have that in three different colors. We have it in the black, the gold, and the silver and they um, will be retiring at the end of May of 2018. So if you don't have it, get it, because it's a lot of fun also. And then you open this one up and you do have a sentiment stamped on the inside with some more of the designer series paper. So I thought that was kind of fun. So actually you've got just the piece of paper, the candles here, and then they're just cut off. All right, some more of the designer series paper just uh, backed with a piece of Bermuda Bay. This is one of the sentiments from our birthday wit stamp set, which is a lot of fun. And that's just been trimmed out after it was stamped on white. A few, uh, wraps with the basic black baker's twine and then a few of those adhesive backed sequins that I already talked about. Open that one up and then you've got some of the designer series paper on the edges of the inside panel which I think is a really nice touch. Here's one that uses that really funky pattern. I love this with the black and the lemon lime twist and the berry burst. And you see we've got a couple of the adhesive backed sequins. And this is one of our white pearl accents that are also retiring at the end of May. And it was just colored with the black Sharpie marker. So the white perfect accents can be made any color you want. They look like this on the sheet and you can just color them right on the sheet. And you can see I've got one here that I did color with one of my Stampin' Blends markers. Um, but I didn't end up using it. So those are fun also. And then this has some of our oval framelits, circle framelits, a doily in the back, the ribbon, the lemon lime twist striped ribbon. I just love this card. Another one that uses a main piece of the designer series paper. And I love how just a couple little pieces of the designer series paper are down here flagged. The ends are flagged. Here's some more of the washi tape. We've got the skinny berry burst pattern from one of the collections. I've got that asterisk pattern again from this collection. And then the black, which I think is really fun. Some of the layering circles framelits and then the adhesive backed sequins. And here's that party blower card again. And we've got the scattered sequins folder here on the back. I think you can see that. I showed you how to create the party blower. Again, just tiny accents of glimmer paper just really add a lot to a project. Stitched shape oval. And then on the inside, we've got some confetti and another strip of that uh, glimmer paper. So again, you just really don't need a whole lot. This one here uses our wooden wooden planks, 
hardwood planks. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, embossing folder in the back here, which I think is really cool with a very, very thin layer of basic black, some basic black baker's twine. And then we've got some more Bermuda Bay with the stitched circle, the large one here, and then the image just stamped on the candle party paper. Open that up and we've got another strip of the paper in there that kind of separates where you could write your message. This next one uses one of our fun little bows, our mini gift bows. These are in the big catalog and they're retiring at the end of May also. But the Berry Burst bow just goes with this suite perfectly. Uh, glimmer paper um, on the back of the greeting, which again just adds a just amazing um, fun to the cards. A banner strip just snipped with some scissors. And then the inside just has a white panel for you to write a message. Our next one uses these framelits that were on uh, part of the celebration promotion that we just ended. And they will be available again in our new catalog starting June 1st. And they were cut out of a berry burst and, of course, some silver glimmer. And look how these patterns of paper were used. I really like that effect of pattern paper. That's a lot of fun. And then we've got one of these. What are these actually called so I can get the right name? The In Color Bitty Bows Embellishments, which are fun. These are in the main catalog, um, again, expiring or retiring May 31st and again they just kind of add some fun they're self-adhesive so you just peel the backing off pop it on there and uh, then the inside we have one of those party blowers stamped and this little part is actually stamped in silver embossing which is kind of fun Here's one that uses a really basic layout, which is a lot of fun. Two strips of designer series paper down the side, tiny little strips of black along with glimmer paper. Again, glimmer paper, just tiny strips add amazing detail to your projects. A doily, some layering circles, framelits, a stitched shape, some more of those, what are they called, glimmer dots? Yes, the glimmer dots. And then the inside has a little bit more of the designer series paper and one of the sentiments from the stamp set. Our next one, more of the Glimmer Dots, so they work perfectly with this suite of products. Uh, the bow there, the sentiment. I love how the circle is kind of trimmed off the edge. That just gives a little bit more interest to the card. Got a little loop of that mini sequin trim that I talked about earlier. Some Glimmer Dots, the scattered sequins folder um, in the background there, so a lot of fun. This one, again, using just strips of the pattern papers, and we've got three different ones here, so you could cut your paper up and you could make a lot of cards just out of three sheets of that card of that paper. Um, the sentiment with our label punch here, the starburst punch in the back, some more of that mini chevron trim, and then again with the sequin trim here. I really dig that. I'm going to stop here and ask you guys to give me a thumbs up for this video. That helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it very much. Also, you can subscribe to my channel right down here, and then uh, there's a little notification bell over here, and that'll help you be notified when I upload new videos, and then you can watch them. All right, moving on. Our next few cards are all using um, colors that aren't necessarily in the suite of products. So there are other colors, which I think is a lot of fun. So this one's got some pear pizzazz, pool party, calypso coral, and black. And so we've got some of our pool party baker's twine wrapped around, some oval framelits, and some rhinestones, which I just really think is amazing. This next card uses a piece of our Foil Frenzy Specialty Designer Series paper. Can you guys see the shine on that? This is craft colored paper with foil colored accents and I just think that's amazing and here are those papers aren't they fun foil frenzy specialty designer series paper you get 12 sheets in all these colors and patterns you get the berry bursts uh, green uh, the tangerine tango the soft sky and the stripe same colors in the chevron and then the same colors in the polka dots and look at that how much fun does that add to your projects the card also has some of our Lemon Lime Twist Striped Ribbon that's in the Occasions Catalog, and here's that Celebrate greeting again that you will be able to get in June when our new catalog goes live. All right, this one actually uses our Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Series paper, and I can't help, this really kind of strikes me as kind of a more of a manly card just because of the colors. I love the silver with the black, a tiny bit of our black shimmer ribbon here, party blowers in the black, and the old olive. I just think that is just really cool. And then you open it up and you've got some confetti in there and a wonderful sentiment. And our last one that doesn't use uh, products from, or the papers from the suite, it also uses the um, Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Series paper. This one has the silver foil accents on Calypso Coral. We've got the greeting punched out with our classic label punch. And then we've got a little bit of this crinkled Knight of Navy ribbon. And this is a... Uh, just kind of a different fold, I guess, and I just think it's really fun. All right, our next cards are all what I like to call fun folds. So it's something that's just not a standard card. It's got a little bit of pizzazz to it. It opens a different way, and this is our first one here. Look at this. Isn't this fun? So you've just got your four and a quarter by 11 piece of card stock. You're just going to cut out uh, half of it here, so you would actually cut out at like two 
this is two and an eighth and then over. And then we've got some of our layering squares framelits, the stitched square framelit, some of our fun, uh, what are these little guys called? The iridescent sequin assortment uh, added to that with one of our uh, fine tip glue pens. And then you open that up and you can hide your message right there and love the strips of designer series paper. Another kind of fun fold, this one just opens like so. So you've got your candles here at the bottom. So you've just have your four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock and you cut off what looks to be about mm, maybe two inches off the bottom. And then just add your layers with paper and your stamping. And of course your starburst punch and this yummy, uh, what is this called? The linen woven uh, lemon lime twist ribbon. And here's kind of a, I don't even know what you'd call this, but it's kind of fun. Check that out. How fun is that? So it's just a basic panel of cardstock, which is four and a quarter by uh, five and a half and then you've got your layering panel here and then these two sides actually go underneath the white um, and they form kind of some doors which I thought was kind of fun. Uh, the starburst punch again, that berry burst metallic edge ribbon and then a rhinestone for the eye. This one here is one that I made and I will link my video for that right up here. This is what I call a pocket card and it could hold a gift card. You could put a gift card right there. And <clears throat> And this one uses a couple strips of the designer series paper. The flap folds over. I've got some tips for doing that in my video. And then the candle images and the ribbon. And then a few of the adhesive sequins. This one's a long Z fold card, which I think is fun. And look at that, a few patterns of the designer series paper, uh, some layering ovals. Again, that mini chevron ribbon in the Bermuda Bay. Love the candle stamped there. And then the few sequins. I just think that's a lot of fun. So it's actually a regular card. You just score it at two and an eighth fold it back and open it up. And this one I thought was really fun. Um, so you've got it uh, cut off here at two inches and then these two little uh, rectangle panels are just added to the front and they hide what's on the inside but yet you can add two strips of the designer series paper uh, that coordinate together and that's just a lot of fun. This one here, I'm not sure what it's called exactly. I'll see if I can find out. Uh, but look at that. We've got four different patterns of the designer series paper and it just kind of opens like an accordion which I think is really fun. And then your sentiment here on the front. And then the back of that would be where you could uh, write your message, have a little bit more designer series paper, just a really fun interactive card. And our last one is what's called a double Z fold card, which I think is a lot of fun. And I did create one of these on a Facebook Live a couple weeks ago. I'll link that up there. Uh, just kind of fast forward until you find it. I did it with the um, a True Gentleman um, suite, so it'll be the man card. But isn't that fun? Just all the different patterns of designer series paper. And so the paper was actually cut so the pattern kind of is in a row. So you've got this piece of the paper and then the next one is right here and the last one, the fun sentiment, more patterns of the paper. I just think that's a ton of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here are uh, most of the cards that we did. I will try to put um, some of these up on my blog at barbstamps.com for you to check out. Um, if you need any supplies to create your own cards, I would appreciate your business at shoppingwithbarb.com. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.